I remember that. This is Ben 10 versus uh, Green Lantern. Seeing like a big bounce in the like and dislike bar ratio. So it's about fifty fifty. It's yeah. So I'm very curious. What did they do wrong, and what could they have done right? I'm watching three to one to one. <laughs> well, I know who won. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. I know who won. And a lot of people. I guess most people were upset about that, but also a lot of people were upset of like how they won. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Like. Fans of the loser are mad because they lost, and fans of the winner are mad because of how he won. Contemplating the possibility of the first contact okay. with an alien race. Will we exchange gifts of peace or weapons of war? Weapons, definitely weapons, like these ones. Ben Ten, ah. protector of Earth and wielder of the Omnitrix, and the Green Lantern. I just want to say that like Ben would win. The power ring. He's but also, boomstick. and it's our we'll job see. to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Throw a chair at him. <laughs> Benjamin Tennyson was just your average ten-year-old boy. He loved video awesome. games, hated They're school, and was Benjamin. prepared to have the yeah. most boring summer vacation ever. God damn it, Wedgie! Destiny fell from the sky. Upon discovering a strange crash-landed alien device, it Kirby? stuck itself upon his wrist with secrets that it hid. Whoa. Now he's got superpowers and no that. ordinary kid, he's Ben 10. Sorry, Wizzy. Just can't help myself. It's the best intro. So damn right? This strange device was the Omnitrix, a portable library of intergalactic so genetic data that can oh, transform yeah. its users Sometimes? into a variety yeah. of different alien species. Oh, yeah, that just kind of... Sounds okay. like the perfect way to get freaky with some alien babies Yo. all across the galaxy. Well, you do. Oh. You. But the cosmic warlord Vilgax had something different in mind. With the Omnitrix technology, he planned to create an army of superpowered aliens and conquer the universe. Nice. Yeah, typical villain stuff. Oh, but old hentai face would have to wait, because Ben <laughs> got the watch first and became a superhero. Well, okay, first he burned down a forest, but then he got busy with the hero stuff. The Omnitrix contains a built-in radio, universal translator, distress One signal, a self-defense pulse blast against anyone <sighs> trying to force it off Ben's wrist, and, as a bonus, and time. many more. And whenever Ben comes across a new alien he'd like to cosplay, he can scan their DNA. Wait, what? He can add them to his transformation collection. And you, you would think that <laughs> the creator already had, had that in mind anyway. All the elements like lightning, <laughs> water, I won't, I won't ice, earth, and fire with his very first transformation ever. Heat blast. That's one. With some just Whoa. beautiful fire puns. <sighs> That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you gotta respect the classics. As forearms, he's strong enough to create shockwaves with mere punches. As accelerate, he can run fast enough to dodge lightning. As diamond head, he can survive massive explosions like they were nothing. But if you prefer brains over brawn like myself, he can increase his intelligence with alien forms like Brainstorm, who has an IQ of oh, a nonillion. That's a one followed by 30 zeros, and more than three octillion times greater than the highest recorded IQ in history. He can fly okay. as Jet Ray, duplicate himself with Ditto, and eat his feelings away as Upchuck. Wiz, that's really not a healthy way to handle Actually, you know issues. He might you be know? one of my low-key right. favorites. <laughs> yeah, he should really just stick to alcohol. Well, and if he ever wants to suck for some reason, he's not walking <laughs> Don't ever say it like that. <laughs> and that's it. Probably Ben's worst transformation, and that's saying a lot considering he has an alien literally named the worst. If old timey the worst thing, Ben can transform into every classic monster you can think of. Because I guess zombies and werewolves were aliens all along. I knew it. Through different forms, Ben can manipulate the fundamental forces of the universe, like gravity, radiation, time, and energy. Feedback, for instance, once absorbed the entirety of the Big Bang and then fired it at a robot supervillain, creating a time loop and saving the universe. Okay. Yeah, oh, he's got okay. used to hero work, Ben's aliens started getting pretty insane. Like Waybig, who's basically a giant <laughs> kaiju who can fire a cosmic Waybig. wave from his chest, powerful enough <laughs> Remember, this is he's named by a kid. Ten-year-old boy. My personal favorite alien, Mole Stash. He's a mole who punches people with he's his He's Diggersby, mustache. though. <laughs> Diggersby, though? <laughs> Some His ears are arms. Personal. But contrary to the show's very specific title, oh, Ben's Omnitrix matter. doesn't just have access to 10 alien forms. In fact, it has 1,912. He's no ordinary kid. He's been 1,912,000. <laughs> yeah, doesn't, doesn't quite roll off the so top wait. like Ben 10, does it? 
With his armature, could he scan another person? It already has human DNA. Oh. Uh, it is. It's true. Well, the Omnitrix does have one drawback. It usually has an automatic cooldown period for a few minutes between... Not if he has Master Control. ...because overuse can permanently disfigure the user's DNA. Alright, forgot to say that four seconds earlier. It's gross. Um, you excuse me. I need to person who designed that probably had a hell of a time doing that. Later. This cooldown would be a recurring issue for Ben until he discovered Master Control, a special code which, when input into the Omnitrix, just let him use it however he wanted. And if he's ever on death's door, the watch will automatically pop him into whatever alien body it thinks he needs at the time to survive whatever's happening. And there's one form that's almost always the best answer. Alien X. Born in the forge of creation beyond the multiverse itself, Alien X is a celestial sapien, the most powerful species in the universe. He's basically a cosmic god who can punch planets to bits, fly faster than light, duplicate himself, control minds, use telekinesis, reverse time, warp reality, and even just straight up erase oh. people from existence. Reminds me of our quirk video about that one comment. <laughs> we don't want it. Why not? They could just blink and we'd be gone. Alien X is so tough, he survived the destruction of the entire universe by the Annihilarg and didn't feel a thing! Like, his durability was so through the roof, he didn't even realize total cosmic annihilation was happening right on top of him. Based on rough estimates made by a NASA astrophysicist, the total mass energy of the universe in joules is 4. Well, that doesn't seem very impressive. Followed by 69 zeros. Oh, there it is. And to top <laughs> oh, it off, it Ben as Alien X went and just remade an entirely new universe identical to the old one. First of all, how the hell? Second, since he just made a copy universe? That technically means that all those characters we watched through the whole show are Actually, still yeah. dead. Damn, dude. Throw somebody a bone or something. However, Celestial Sapiens are composed of multiple personalities, and if they can't unanimously agree on what action to take, which can take billions of years, all that power is basically useless. But Ben convinced his extra personalities that that's a really goddamn stupid, and he should have full control all the time. So yeah, he did. Matter. Why doesn't he just go full alien Listen. all the time? Let me do it. Variety doesn't hurt, right? Okay. Plus, even without his alien forms, Ben is pretty clever and has a knack for getting himself out of trouble, even when things get really. I mean, you ever just? I know. He saved the universe more times than he can count. He's defeated Bill Gates when he had one. the power of a Cthulhu god, ended the hybrid conspiracy, and whooped the another celestial sapien, the Galactic Gladiator. Not like Mario. Knocked out the Mayan god of death. Black hole. Okay. We can tell from the size of the black hole in relation to the galaxies in the background, as well as how long it took to create, that Alien X must have been flying approximately seven quadrillion times faster than light speed. I get it, Wiz. Alien X is totally overpowered, but Ben doesn't keep any of those powers as a human. Not much of a problem when the Omnitrix can instantly transform him fast enough to catch the Big Bang. The only thing truly holding Ben back throughout his hero career was his immaturity, being a ten-year-old and all. Oh yeah, like that one time he messed with the Omnitrix and accidentally set it to self-destruct. After charging up for a oh. few days, it would destroy the whole universe on its own. So that's not great. Fortunately, Ben grew into a reliable and wildly successful hero by the time he reached the age of 16. He would continue his hero work How into the future, eventually adopting the name Ben, ben 10,000. <laughs> the world can rest easy with Ben 10 as its first and best line of defense. 66 and Volcanus? What are they doing here? About to get their alien butts kicked. That's what. Going here. Hal Jordan and was then just your average, Green mostly handsome ladies' man and hotshot test pilot who discovered a crash landed in the ship best. In the desert. Okay, so maybe he's not so average. I'll say he found this guy Ab and Sur dying in a crash spaceship, who gave Hal a little green ring before kicking the bucket. And so, by reciting an ancient nice. oath, Hal Jordan would become a Green Lantern. Brightest day and blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power, Green Lantern light. The Green Lantern Corps is a universe-spanning law enforcement organization founded by the immortal Malthusians, also known as the Guardians of the Universe. 
Hey, there's space oopa loopas. More like <laughs> leprechauns. Yep. Okay, fine. Whichever mythical creature you want. No, no. I mean, a group of them traveled to Earth centuries ago and literally evolved into modern day leprechauns. I knew they were real. Anyway, the Green Lantern Corps has patrolled the known universe for three billion years, recruiting members of every shape and size. Including a living planet, a sentient smallpox virus, some guy with an exploding volcano for a head, a living Jesus. math equation, and a squirrel. Man, even after all these years, Wiz, comics are weird. Imagine what it felt like for Hal when he began training on the Guardian homeworld Oa. Dude, Over time, he grew to be there's a, the core's there is the math equation the for universe. Will itself, that and that's a Green Lantern. It might look tiny, but if Mjolnir, Yoda, and years of therapy have taught me anything, it isn't the size that counts, it's what you do with it. Uh, right. The Green Lantern power ring is actually one of the most impressive weapons ever made. It's most well known for its ability to create hardened like constructs that function identically to what they're inspired by. Anything from boxing gloves to machine guns to an entire solar system. While a ring's wielder must be familiar with the object they're creating they don't necessarily need to know all the ins and outs for it to function very convenient the energy can boost Hal's strength and speed and also protect him with a force field he can shoot lasers phase through objects turn invisible read minds heal wounds and fly through space faster than light the only true limit to a power rings utility is its users imagination insofar as allowing the green lanterns to bend the rules of the universe to their whims they can transmute matter and energy, manipulate time, form pocket dimensions, I'm and warp the that fabric time. of reality. And even though Hob and Sewer went out like a bitch, the ring makes a competent Green Lantern really tough to kill. It has built-in defenses to protect against mind control, and oh. it can sometimes yank its owner out of harm's way all on its own. It can even defend against multiversal erasure events, like when Kilowog survived the crisis on infinite Earths. That's right, this guy tanked a freaking retcon to the face. Whatever's in these rings, I want it in my dune buggy stat. That would be pure, unfiltered willpower. Yeah, how many miles is the galaxy? <laughs> will it, will it? Okay, well, a Green Lantern's ability stems from their own willpower. The stronger their will is, the more their ring can do. So if willpower is green, does that make fear brown? Yellow, actually, as dictated by the emotional electromagnetic spectrum, an energy field from which all emotion in the universe is derived. Kind of like if the force from Star Wars was a rainbow of feelings. And Hal's got more willpower busting out than anybody else, which makes him really damn powerful. And really damn reckless. Green Lantern got this. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> power has led to his possession by Parallax, an entity of fear, Fucking and caused it. entire planets to fall. But it's been said that knowing true fear made Hal's will even stronger than before. Like when he went up against this blue dickweed Krona, who took control of all these space animal guns that embodied the different rainbow spectrum emotions. Including Ion, the green basking shark of willpower. Yes, I know. Hal was able to overturn Krona's plan, which meant overpowering the literal embodiment of all willpower in the universe with his own willpower. That sounds... Uh, impressive? Impossible? Impressible? Hal's been knocked through a planet, blasted by a supernova, and punched by the reality-shattering Superboy okay. Prime. He was fast enough to fly to Earth from a planet at the edge of the universe. And factoring how DC's observable universe is at least 100 trillion light years in diameter, Hal must have been flying well over one and a half quintillion times the speed of light. And without the ring, cool. Hal once had to pilot a ship okay. traveling over light speed manually. As in, there were planets and stars in his way, and Hal had to steer. And since he can match the god of willpower, he can pull off crazy will feats that other Green Lanterns have done, like when Kyle Rayner held back a big bang. But to be fair, the power ring is not perfect. It does carry a finite charge, and should he expend too much energy too quickly, he'll need his power battery to refuel. Also, if his Ten opponent seconds, can though. ruin his willpower, or even just his belief in himself, Hal won't be able to use the ring, which is lame. Yeah, these powers are pretty complex. Batman once had a plan to trick Kyle into thinking he was blind, and because he believed he was, the ring reacted to his thoughts and actually made him blind. Oh, shit. But Hal's too badass to yeah. let a little sadness Holy take him out for good. <laughs> Hal, he's got the cojones to arrest God. But Wiz, I gotta address the yellow elephant in the room. Cop. Why the hell are Green Lanterns weak to yellow? 
Ages ago, yes, the Green Lanterns couldn't affect anything yellow because Parallax had messed with their power source, but that is no longer the case, so Hal isn't held back by colors. And really, that's not even the worst weakness a Green Lantern ever had. Oh yeah, way back in the day, a Green Lantern went rogue and tried to take over a planet of people with crude wooden weapons. And so as a great little F.U., the gods decided to make him weak to wood right before the blows started landing. Ah, good thing it's not a problem for hell. Whether it be brightest day or blackest night, all should respect the emerald light of the Green Lantern. Or he'll willpower you to death, apparently. Give up? Please say no. You'll never catch me, Lantern. Bang. You'll never catch me. Bang. <laughs> he made a all fucking right, slide into a birdcage. Through all possibilities. But first. Hey, I'm Chad. I play Boomstick. I'm Chad, oh, okay. I'm sick. Yep. Uh, but we did want to tell you guys about our event that we put on every year called RTX in Austin, Texas. It's a super fun convention where we've got a million things going on. We've got video games and, oh, yeah, they got, and panels and signings. What's it called? Rooster Teeth did. Yeah. We can't wait to see they we work with Rooster Teeth directly, so doing, uh, this is only on Saturday, inevitable. The death battle one. It's time for a death battle. We do it as, as often as we can. It's always fun having you guys there. We talk about <laughs> death battle, matchups, and Q and, and take questions, things like that. It's great. Uh, we got a signing right after that. Uh, and then on Sunday, um, excuse me, but <laughs> in episode 419? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do this to me. RTX <laughs> is July 5th through 7th, uh, again in Austin, Texas. Head to RTX event. But yeah, I would still say that Ben's still got it generally just throughout, but if it comes down to that willpower bit, probably upset. <laughs> I don't think Hal could possibly create multiverse ending power. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey, you can't speed here. Best looking guardian of sector 2814 at your service. I can give you 10 good reasons right now to let me go. Sorry, kid. Seems you're carrying a class A galactic super weapon. I'll just take this. Bitch. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. You're not the first doofus to try to take this. It's hero time. Oh, I forgot how gross that is. <laughs> Right. Uh, right, right. We have to insert ourselves. Uh, fight! Come on, kid. Let's stop this before it gets heated. Too late. That's interesting. I kind of want to wait. Is he just floating? <laughs> That's great. Hey, you ever seen a supernova? Several, actually. I Several. <laughs> I was about to say, he blasts love tank? Alright. You're so lame. I bet I could even beat you as gray matter. What? I did a thing, literally. Cute. Way big. <laughs> I can't even get bigger. Like, way big. <laughs> No. You throw another moon at me. I'm gonna yeah, lose, I'm lose it. Lose it. <laughs> oh. This is Alien X. He controls all of reality. This is over. He willed it. God damn it. <laughs> What is this music? I think we'll find out just like in the credits. Brightest day in blackest night. No evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evils might beware my power. Green Lantern's light! What the hell? Alright. <laughs> this is great. I don't care what kind of power. I Ouch. Reality includes time. Time, huh? Thanks for the tip. Wait. Oh yeah. Wait, could he? 
Yeah, he can construct them. Ew, I stepped in the loser. <laughs> oh, it hurts to laugh. Don't ask. Okay. Another miner on our board of death. Ben's absurd versatility and ingenuity put up a stellar fight, but Hal had the tools Oops. and skills he needed to ensure a victory. While the Omnitrix is millions of aliens is just nuts, he could only ever use one at a time, while Hal always has access to all of his powers. Even with the flexibility of master control, this meant Ben was always playing catch-up. Not a great position to be in considering Green Lantern's might. Ben's diamond head form was tough, sure, but he wasn't surviving a planet exploding in his face. Accelerate was wicked fast, but not fast enough right. to cross the universe in an but hour. But it came down and to way back, though. was really strong, but he didn't hit as hard as a supernova. Hal simply outclassed all of Ben's options, except for one. Yeah, how the hell did Hal beat Alien X? That thing is basically omnipotent. Well, not exactly. Celestial Sapiens are extremely powerful, but they can be beaten in battle and have you failed in that? the past. At the top, like the top That thing is basically... Destroy universe, multiverse in six dots is not supported. Yeah. Really omnipotent. Well, not exactly. Celestial Sapiens are extremely powerful, but they can be beaten in battle and have failed in the past. Like the time Alien X recreated the universe. He only did that because he couldn't stop it from being destroyed in the first place. Alien oh, X could okay. definitely match a lot of Hal's power, but Hal had defenses against all of X's. Mind control? The ring protects Hal's head. Mess with time? Hal can do that too. Trying to wipe him from existence? Please, Green Lanterns can survive an entire universe being erased. Likewise, Alien X has never shown any defenses against the same kinds of things that Hal could replicate, like mind control, transmutation, and time manipulation. Ben and his alien forms put up a great fight, and Alien X is easily one of the most powerful combatants we've ever seen on Death Battle. However, Hal had the speed, versatility, and literal willpower necessary to claim his victory. Guess you could say Hal was definitely the ringer for this fight. Ugh. Oh, Wiz, don't be green with envy. That pun was 10 out of Ben. The winner is Green Lantern. Yeah, okay. Oh, I can't take that I'm one. I'm Sam, he's Luis. Neither of us are Wizard Moonsick, but don't go anywhere just yet because we're about to announce the next matchup. And if you want the battle music, you can click the download link below. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Who next? Sub-Zero? <laughs> Sub-Zero! <laughs> and someone from Persona. It's not Sub-Zero. It's not Sub-Zero. Immediately disappointed. Unless Weiss summoned Sub-Zero. Okay, yeah, no. I think I kind of understand it. So it really just came down to time. And once uh, Hal knew exactly how that worked, it was like, okay, well, I can't beat Alien X. So I'll just prevent from ever happening. <laughs> Although, granted, though... Uh, they made a point in the past about it, but the fact that a lot of the animation is just for visual effect. It's it really just came it came down to a couple guys at a table. Hopefully, it's more than just two people coming together and just kind of del or um, deliberating on what could happen. There could have been a time where Ben wouldn't open up his big fat mouth. Maybe like. He could have um, fought him when he was like 16 instead of 10. I guess that's my take. I think it's totally fair in this circumstance. Just the way they portrayed it. But otherwise, I think Ben really would have won. Just based on Alien X alone. So a lot a lot of people in this have a lot of good reasons on why it's bullshit. Okay. The Omni Chicks can re react as fast as the Big Bang. Gets his arm snipped off. Oh, yeah, okay. Alien X reverses time. Green Lantern does the same thing but wins. <laughs> That's a really good first point, though. Alien X is totally overpowered. Well, yes, but no. Alien. I thought only Alien X could only be hurt by other Celestial Sapiens. Easily the worst one. Multiple people have tried cutting off his hands. Hell, Ben even joked about it in Omniverse. You know what? He's got the right. You know what? Ben really would have ultimately won because that's the reaction speed. <laughs> you try and kill Ben in any way, the Omnitrix will save him, no matter what. Well, yes, but no. Alien X, universe level tier and could erase with a blink, but you made it like Thanos. 
Green Lantern, defeated by Batman in a sewer because he didn't notice Batman took his ring. <laughs> he didn't. Jesus okay, so Christ, dude. it seems like one little snippet was uh, overlooked. And uh, you know what? Yeah, they're right. Ben should have won because the Omnitrix would have sensed that. <laughs> the Omnitrix can react faster than the Big Bang. Also, the Omnitrix can't react faster than pairs of scissors. Unless those pairs of scissors were faster than Big Bang. <laughs> <laughs> oh man dude this is all that's all types of bad <laughs> yeah okay well in the year oh my god i didn't even think about that but yeah oh yeah also chose not to watch the uh wario versus dg because honestly you could just settle and smash and you can call it a day <laughs> all right well, just two level nines yeah two level nines and we'll watch it like that <laughs> But yeah, we'll end it here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know what you guys think. Do you agree with all these comments that we just been reading out? And also, well, I mean, they're right, though. <laughs> ben 10, age 16, puts him in a 10-year-old form. That's what I was... <laughs> but I somehow reasoned with them that it was okay. I should have thought better about this. But yeah. All right. We'll see you guys in the next one. Hashtag bye, everyone.